I'm standing at the border fence in southern New Mexico in Sunland Park where photojournalist Roberto Rosales and I have been working on a series examining the mass migration of Central American families, primarily parents with very young children and also children traveling up to the border on their own. The vast majority are looking to make an asylum claim, so all they really have to do is step foot on U.S. soil. As Border Patrol's watching, there are a, a whole network of spotters or scouts for the smuggling organizations. They're also watching. They're watching Border Patrol agents, keeping track of their movements. A lot of what we're hearing from agents is that they are overwhelmed, picking up so many hundreds of families a day that uh, there are some gaps in the coverage. And these spotters are watching for that to take advantage of it. We also ran into a very small group of uh, militiamen, uh, patriots of the Constitution, New Mexico Special Ops is how they describe themselves. Wouldn't tell us the exact number of men. We only saw four uh, kind of hiding out in the scrub brush, but they were also keeping an eye on the border. We have uh, everything from very weary Central Americans who've traveled from Honduras, El Salvador, and of course Guatemala, to we spotted more and more people from other countries. We've seen very well-dressed Brazilians with matching luggage arriving, also saying they're looking to ask for asylum, turning themselves in. We also saw large numbers of Cubans who are now stuck in Ciudad Juarez. And there are so many migrants coming from other countries that in Mexico is struggling to figure out how to shelter them. The state government opened up a gym that's become a makeshift shelter for so many of the Cubans. Now what happens is people uh, do show up at the ports of entry and they're being turned back. Uh, the Trump administration has started what's called metering, meaning allowing a very few people to come in, in every day to make their asylum claim. And so about 20 people a day and there's a long, long list of people who uh, they either have the number written on their hand or they get a special bracelet. So we have people cutting through desert areas, sometimes this area coming around the border fence or finding other ways to enter the country. And instead of sneaking in, they're turning themselves into Border Patrol agents because that's what they need to do to ask for asylum.